I think Michelle has always wanted to go to the Olympics, mm -hmm. right? but I think we always thought she'd go into summer sport, and so it wasn't until she went to university, and she got asked to try out for bobsled. That was in Calgary. And that was in Calgary, because we live in Grand Prairie, and she went to university in Calgary, and she got asked to try out for bobsled from an, a girl that she knew through gymnastics, yeah. and she went and she tried bobsled, and she did that for a couple of years. And then she kind of got dared to try skeleton, and she really liked it. And she thought that uh, she liked think what she liked about skeleton is she kind of likes to be a one person sport rather than a team sport. Mm -hmm. yeah. She doesn't want to win because somebody else did really well if she did poorly, right? right. She wants to do it. <laughs> yeah. She's always been very, very competitive. Very competitive. <laughs> So she started in university. So how many years has she been doing it now? I think I think she started in '95. Okay. So oh wow! I think you might be right. Yeah. So I feel it's 15 or 16 years. Um, she was in the Salt Lake. Yeah. Um, 2002. 2002. Um, the skeleton was at Park City, and she came in 10th. Okay. And she's. How, how do you think her chances are for a medal? She she's won world championships yeah. in the past. If she can do clean runs, she's got she has track a good chance, for sure. In the past, mm -hmm. um, she's definitely she's definitely a contender if she's doing well. The last year or so, she's had a lot of injuries too that are just taking longer to heal. Yeah. So she had um, shoulder surgery, and that was kind of a long process, you know, getting all the mobility back in it. She's had a lot of trouble with uh, her, uh, her hamstrings yeah. because so that's slowing her down somewhat on the top when you you uh, have to like sprint with your sled and then you put your sled down and you jump on. Right. right. I think it's just wear and tear, to be honest. You yeah. Know, you, when you compete that <laughs> hard for that long. Like, yeah. yeah. You start having all these injuries and they take longer to heal and there's all this scar tissue all over. She's always talked about going into sports broadcasting. Yeah, I think she wants to do some sort of that's what media. That's what she originally went to university for, was journalism. But she didn't finish because she got into the sport and was away so often that she just, you know, affected her schoolwork, so she kind of quit that. But I think she's always always done good at that. Anytime they've interviewed her or they've asked her to, to do something, she does really well. She's, she's very good at public speaking. Yeah. <laughs> She's very easy to listen to. Yeah. And she's just kind of a natural at speaking. Because, uh, she's a good storyteller. She's very funny, yeah. and right. people like they just they, they just get caught right up in it. So. Does she have any special nickname? Uh, well, her nickname is Mush. Yeah. Mush. Okay. Yeah, and that's been since she's in gymnastics a long time ago. It, it's yeah. funny when when she was in gymnastics uh, when she was about eight, her coach instead of calling her Michelle started calling her Mush, and it just sort of caught on. And Anybody that knows her through gymnastics calls her much. But then when she started doing the skeleton, and she has a, it's like a wolf, mm -hmm. it's a wolf head on her. Yeah, it looks like one of the dogs yeah. that pulls the sleds when they, you know, they're mush. You know? Yeah. So people thought that's where this mush came from. Yeah. Really, it didn't, but it just sort of like went together. Mm -hmm. like, it's, it's, it's <laughs> just worked. It's, <laughs> it, it's quite a intense work. Mm -hmm. it, oh, yes. Yeah. That's, uh, and you don't get much chance. Like they're they go so quick, and wherever you're standing, like they're gone, right? So you yeah. And if you make one just cheer as loud as you can, but yeah. <laughs> one little, you know, one little mistake, and oh, you're out of there. But so it's part of the sport and part of what, what they all love. So, yeah. That's been really awesome. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't know if it would be this by far. We weren't sure what it was. We just knew they were going to sponsor two family members. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. It's really great. Like, I'm impressed with everything. The hotel is nice. Yeah. All the stuff they gave us. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, we need another suitcase just to take it all home. I know. <laughs> like, I know. It's, yeah, it's good. Everything was really great. great.